What's up guys, welcome back to Brain Games. It's currently just after 3.15 p.m. on Monday afternoon. Um, today's video would usually be my time lapse of my biking workout, but yesterday instead of biking, I went to the gym and shot basketball um, at the rec for about an hour. Excuse me, that went pretty well. Um, my shot's still there, which is good. Um, I kind of got a back of a winter break when I played with my friend when we would go work out. We kind of shoot hoops before every single workout, and so that definitely helped me get my shot back. And even though it's been, you know, like three months since then, I still somewhat have it. So it just felt nice to get out there and shoot some hoops and, you know, just go through the motion, stuff like that. But, um,. I guess other topic of today's video, or the main topic, I guess, as the title implies, because it was kind of like a rest day yesterday, um, is good friends. And, you know, the main message here is just make sure you have good friends that are legitimate, they aren't fake, they aren't going to just disappear on you one day, and, you know, they support you in everything you do. The main thing in good friends is just finding someone who is real, someone who truly, genuinely, you know, cares for you and someone who will be there through thick and thin and you know that's kind of the basics of it you don't want someone who just disappears one day after you know things don't go their way or they don't get you know something from you that they want um friends shouldn't be there for some monetary reason or anything like that you know they shouldn't be there you know asking money from you every single month you know that's a sign of a bad friend you want a friend who's there that, you know, checks up on you from time to time. And even if you don't talk for a while, if you can still come back to them and talk like you didn't stop talking at all and there wasn't any break in y'all's conversation, that is a good friend. You know, I have a friend like that who we don't talk for months sometimes, it seems like. But then when we do start talking again, it's like we never stop talking. And, you know, that's what I like about talking with her is that, it doesn't matter how long we it's been since we last talked it's like we never stop talking and that is a sign of a great friend um also her name's emily and then one of my other friends kendall the one i work out with when i go back home and he's visited me a few times um i've known him since i want to say sophomore year of high school or yeah, i think it was sophomore year in life team which is our youth group program and um we've just been friends ever since um he's a great guy um we help each other out with a lot of stuff uh i usually help him out with girls stuff like that especially this is the assistance of my girlfriend um so from her point of view but um i don't know him and i just have stuck through it we work out together we do a lot of things together and we just hang out a lot especially when i go home and i'm kind of bored and so we always just chill with each other but that's another great friendship to where we're just you know, we're just bros, and I feel like we'll be that way for a very long time, so, yeah. And then, of course, Anna, my girlfriend, we've been friends for forever since I actually moved to Texas in third grade, and we've been friends since then, and we're even better friends now, we're in a relationship, and definitely you need to be best friends with your boyfriend or girlfriend or significant other, and, you know, especially if you want to go past that and get married, stuff like that and you just need to be best friends as well as you know soulmates and you know lovers and all that stuff but being friends with the person you're in a relationship with is just key in my opinion but yeah those are some examples of my friends and why i like them and why i consider them great friends and it's a kind of other friends but I feel like there's always that one main group of friends. You know, I have a kind of, I want to say outlier, I don't know how to, you know, they're, they're still my friends. They're not as close as Emily or Anna or um, Kendall, but I got my guys in a white ice. Um, I haven't talked about them before, or the group before, but there's Arturo, James, Bailey, Will, Avery, um, Caden, and I think that's all of them. Hopefully I didn't forget any of them. Um, but yeah, I think Bailey, James, Arturo, Avery, Caden, Will, and yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I got them all. 
but they're really good friends of mine. I lived with them last year. Don't live with them this year, so I don't see them as much. I talk to them as much, but I still try to visit them. We're still close friends, still play games together, stuff like that, and they're still my bros. But I still got that main group of friends of the three, I guess, and then they're still my friends. But, you know, it's kind of hard. Um, and I'm going to branch off on another tangent real quick before I end the video. But it's definitely a lot harder now with COVID to make friends, especially meeting other person, doing stuff like that. But it's still very possible, especially with Zoom and Discord and all the other online video call conferencing apps, whatever, stuff like that. So, you know, it's not impossible. It's definitely, in my opinion, a bit hard to make friends. But, you know, it's still out there. It's still a possibility. So, you know, don't feel like... There's no social opportunities for you to make friends um, during this COVID kind of time, whatever, being in your situation, but yeah. That's going to be the video though, guys. Hopefully with COVID, you'll wearing your mask around public and around people. If you like the video, really appreciate it. If you could subscribe to the channel, I'll appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time. Adios.